Oh my god! Hello, this is Terry from Generically Yours, and today we're at Momocon. <laughs> Safety tips. Never smoke in the bed. Never smoke in the bed. Never smoke in the bed. They listen well. <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute! hotel room and above us it sounds like someone's running around the bed I hope you can hear that I really hope you can hear that <laughs> whatever it is whoever it is they like it rough we're talking ball gags and like <laughs> whips because also showers and, and showers because <laughs> they've been at it for what three hours <laughs> harder she can't feel it <laughs> what are you doing in the closet What are you doing? In the river. In the tub? Mm-hmm. Why? I forgot my toothbrush. Okay. That is awesome. Oh god, okay. She 
he's headless. <laughs> This is the part of the video where I talk about Momocon in general, things I learned, and do the little mini baby haul because I didn't have enough money for a normal haul. <laughs> so basically, let's start with things that I learned. Ballet flats are not good shoes to wear at Momocon. Even if it makes your cosplay perfect, you may regret it. So either be prepared to deal with the pain or wear better shoes. My ballet flats, they look great with my no-face costume, but they hurt. They had no support, and they didn't fit perfectly right because my feet, I guess, are weird or something. <laughs> so they didn't fit properly, so that didn't help. Prepare and wear shoes that you know are comfortable or you know will be comfortable and offer support. And if you can't because it doesn't go with your cosplay, then just be prepared, you know, bring band-aids, bring blister stuff for, you know, whatever you gotta do. So, if you can't go comfort and you have to go style, be prepared. That's all I gotta say. Other things about Momocon I learned is people are nice. You know, it's a very positive experience. There was no problems that I had seen. Everybody was really polite. If anybody accidentally bumped into you, they were very quick to turn like, oh, I'm so sorry. Another thing I learned at Momocon is try to learn beforehand, before you even buy the tickets and spend all this money, try to make sure that there's going to be people there that you follow, you know, make it worth it for yourself. I think everybody should, you know, go and experience a con, but for me personally, there wasn't really too many people there that... I actually knew who they were, so it's like I didn't go to panels, I didn't, I mean, I'm not a panel person, really, unless there's somebody on the panel that I really follow, but I didn't really go to panels, I just kind of walked around the floor of the convention, so, I mean, I got to see the cosplays, and that was really cool, I got to see the merch booths, and that was fine, you know, that was fun, you know, but if you're gonna go... Make sure that the amount of money you spend on tickets is equal to what you're going to do. So, for example, if the tickets were any more expensive than they would have been, I probably would have rethought going because for me, personally, it might not have been worth it. I would have waited for the tickets to go on sale, or I would have waited for another year when maybe there was more people going that I would feel like it would be worth it to go try to see. Another thing is, you can't have enough money. Um, <laughs> cash is helpful, uh, but a lot of them did take Square. Like almost every booth I went to, they did take they did have the Square reader, so they did take cards, which was very helpful and very nice. But you can't have enough money. <laughs> um, me and my two friends, we each had about sixty, seventy dollars. And t-shirts alone start at like 25 minimum. So, I mean, if you're going to buy one, that's not bad. You know, you're like, okay, it's just $25. You know, they're going to be expensive because it's at the con. But if you see several booths with t-shirts that you want, it adds up really, really quick. And, of course, food is a given that at a con is going to be more expensive. I had a freaking hot dog wrapped in a pretzel on a stick, and that freaking thing was like $8. No drink. Yeah. Be prepared to spend money. Start saving now. As soon as you, like, see this part in the video, if you want to go to Momocon next year, just go to your bank account and start moving money over to it because you're going to need it. So all this talking about, you know, make sure you have money for Momocon. If you can only afford a ticket, I don't want you to think that you shouldn't go. Just be realistic about it and realize that you might not be able to buy merch. You might not be able to get a lot of food or something. So take your own snacks or uh, just, you know, go as cheap as you can. Eat before you go. And you don't have to worry if you can't buy merch because there are things 
that you can find or things that you will receive with your ticket that you can take home as a souvenir so you don't have to feel bad if you can't be like oh I can't buy a t-shirt or oh I can't buy this or oh, I can't buy that because on day two for example we walked on the third floor down and there was a guy just standing there giving out free hats and it's not you know anything spectacular but it is something to remember Momocon by so you can just kind of hang out and just walk around, enjoy the panels, enjoy just seeing the cosplays, and just kind of enjoy the atmosphere and still have things to bring home. Like, you know, when you buy your ticket, you get, you know, the book that has like the schedules in it and who was there. And I mean, you could even take this around and have different people sign it. A friend of mine took a white t-shirt and any cosplayer that she saw that had a really amazing cosplay, she asked them to sign it. Some of them signed it as the character, which was hilarious. Some of them signed it as themselves. And they were all really, like, honored that she actually had them sign her shirt. Because to them, they're just a person. But it was kind of nice for them to be able to be recognized as, Hey, I love your fucking cosplay. Sign my shit. You know, so it was really cool that she was able to do that and she was able to have that shirt and keep it and be able to remember, oh, that cosplay was amazing. Oh, that cosplayer was awesome. And also keep in mind too that when you buy your ticket, you do get your pass. And this is an amazing thing to keep a hold of and cherish as a souvenir because, I mean, it's, it's pretty, you know, it's like plastic and it's really good quality it's not just a piece of paper and I'm probably gonna hang it on my wall so you'll see it back there in my other videos but there are things you can do that you'll still be able to be there you'll still be able to hang out with your friends and see the cosplayers and enjoy the atmosphere and see the different things that are there they have displays they have you know a little bit of everything so Another thing you can do is keep the business cards of the different merch booths and stuff because what you can do is if you see something you want and you don't have the money for it, you can always take the card and a lot of them have online stores so you can just take the card home, save up your money and then go on there and be like, hey, guess what bitches, now I can get it. So on day one we actually ran into a YouTuber. I had seen him beforehand on YouTube and he does covers. Uh, the ones I watched were actually his Disney covers and that's how I knew him. And my friend that was with me also had followed him so she knew who he was. We went up to him, he actually recognized my cosplay which was really cool. So we sat there and we kind of chatted about Spirited Away for a couple minutes. And then when we went to take a picture, he asked if he could hold my mask, and that was that was kind of fun. So the fact that he actually you know recognized it was really cool because it was like he kind of felt like he should be there, like he was one of us. So that was really awesome. And my friend uh, decided to buy one of his T-shirts on day one, even though we all said we we're going to try to save our money for day two and go back, and day two was going to be merch day. But he had said that his stall might not be there on day two, so we decided, yeah, we should probably try to get something now. And me, I'll always support YouTubers because I know, you know, how much they have to put into everything that they do because it's just, you know, them. So I was looking at the table, you know, and I was trying to think, you know, what can I get that's not too expensive, but at the same time, I want to support him because, you know, I believe in, you know, his passion. And I saw this little tiny button, and I'm like, well, I might be able to afford that. It can't be any more than, like, two, three dollars. So I asked him, like, okay, well, how much for the button? And he just, like, picked up and said, here. I'm like, oh, thanks. <laughs> so here's that. I found all these buttons that I really love, and I guess they do the artwork for them themselves, and we actually got to watch them make the buttons, which was really cool. I got... L from Death Note, got Howl from Howl Moving Castle, the Hitachi Twins from Oran High School Host Club, Ed from Full Metal, Italy from Hitalia, and of course, I had to get No Face, because, you know, No Face. 
There was another booth. I did not manage to get a card for this one, sadly, but I did find some no face earrings, which are really freaking adorable. There was another booth that had like this wheel thing, and it was actually advertising for another con that was like magic themed. And he said that if we spun the wheel, if we entered the drawing and spun the wheel, that we could win whatever it landed on. My friend won a little color changing cup and I won a free button. So I got to decide, you know, what button I wanted and he made it right there in front of me. So of course, because it's me, I was really big into wanting buttons at MomoCon because I got a new purse for my birthday and even though I love the purse, it's very, very bright. It's like holographic. I love it because it's different, but at the same time in the sunlight, it's a bit much. So I wanted to kind of tone it down just a little bit. So I figured if I got buttons, I could cover the thing in buttons and it would tone it down just a little bit so it doesn't blind freaking people outside. So that's why I got so many freaking buttons. Another thing that I had wanted from MomoCon was I promised myself I was going to leave with a t-shirt and a plushie. Plushies came in all shapes and sizes at MomoCon, from teeny tiny to freaking ginormous. We're talking like the size of my fucking torso. And they were priced to match. So the only one I could get was this little guy. He thinks he's a loaf of bread. He thinks he's a little strawberry loaf of bread. But look how freaking cute he is. He's adorable. And I love him. He's got a little tail. But, um, and he's got little feet. <laughs> so the little kitty loaf of bread. I think he was like four or five dollars. But the big version of him, I could not afford at all. So he got to come home with me. Two of the things I really wanted from MomoCon, as far as souvenirs goes, is a t-shirt and a plushie. The plushie I got. The t-shirt was a little bit trickier. Because day one, I found this booth that had a really funny t-shirt, like funny in a cute way. It was a little cat, and it looked like a skeleton, and it was adorable, and I couldn't, like, forget this shirt. Uh, out of all the other shirts I saw, I couldn't forget it. So day one, I had seen it. I'm like, oh, I really want it. It was $25. I'm like, okay, I'll save it. And then day two, merch day, we'll go back and find the booth. Day two came. Couldn't find the booth. Me and my friend walked around the freaking convention several times. We searched and searched and searched for like three hours and we could not find the freaking booth. And we're like, oh shit. Did they leave? Because some of the booths had left. Like, shit. And I was trying to explain to my friend, you know, what the booth looked like from my memory. And my friend and I were looking and looking and looking. Finally, we found the booth. And I found the shirt. Look how freaking cute this is. How could I not get this? It's adorable. It says, eat, live, per die. I mean, come on. And he's got little sushis. It's adorable. I will be putting a link in the description below for the button vendor, the t-shirt vendor that I found, and any other vendors I could find. In what are you doing? In the closet?